hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a fun one this is a collab video with a friend her name is Jen and her channel name is Jen D Beauty and I will list her video link below and also her channel Jen is a beautiful woman she's probably uh, young enough to be my daughter and I love the fact that she is collabing with me I asked her if she wanted to do a spring look and one of us could do drugstore and the other one could do high end. So I am doing the drugstore part of it. She's doing the high end part. And you guys know that I love my drugstore just as much as I love my high end. So, so this is going to be a fun video. If you have not subscribed to Jen's channel, if you never watched her before, I wish, I hope, and I ask you to please go check her out once you see my video. I'm going to try to do mine as quickly as possible so that you don't spend enough, a lot of time with me and you're able to go catch her video. She has an amazing channel. She does subscription boxes. Uh, mainly is the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. And then she also does the Walmart box, which is a quarterly box. But I love the way she does her unboxings. She actually tries the products on that she's able to try like the makeup part of it. And she is very thorough. She also, at the end of the month, will give you a review on every new product that she has tried that month, which is very helpful because sometimes when we do a video, it's just, uh, you know, we're just showing you our first impressions. So she always does follow up and give you a review. She's very honest. She loves her drugstore makeup and also high end, but she does a lot of drugstore. So I would suggest that you go watch her. She's beautiful. She's very relaxing to listen to. Uh, she's also funny and I think she has an amazing channel. She's always doing get readies with me. She has beautiful hair, beautiful eyes, and I think that you will really love her channel. So I hope you go check her out. And if you're here from Jen's channel, thank you so, so much for checking my video out. I hope that you enjoy it enough that you will subscribe to my channel also. Please say hi below so that we can get together, so we can get to know each other better. So like I said, mine is going to be drugstore, and I'm very hot, guys. It is already, this is spring, but in Florida, we don't have spring. We have, we go from really fall, barely any winter, a couple of days, and then we're um, eight, high 80s already. So, you know, once in a while, we do have like a little bit of a, of a cooler day but really we're already very hot so the first thing that i'm going to do i did already do my brows because the other day i had a heck of a time with my brows i didn't want to waste time with that and i have my skincare and my spf on i'm going to put a little bit of the uh, maybelline master blur stick on the areas where i have the most pores which is around my nose my cheek my chin and my forehead and this even helps you blur a little bit if you have like some fine lines it does help blur them a little bit but this is really good for this area right here and i usually just try to push it in and i don't put it on the rest of my face because the rest of my face doesn't really need it it doesn't feel heavy or sticky or anything like that it is a really nice affordable product all right so we're done with that i also put already put my eye primer on because that's another thing that's not new you guys have seen it a thousand times it's this one right here that i get from amazon that you get three of these tubes for 9.99 and it is a great buy and a great primer so the foundation that we're going to do today is going to be the uh, CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation Full Coverage SPF 18. Now, like I said, I never count any SPF in my um, skincare or in my products. And this is a in the color 820 Creamy Natural. So I'm going to put a little bit of it on, shake it first. It does have a pump and it comes with a pump. I'm gonna put a pump on the back of my hand and then if I need more, it is like a creamy consistency. It's a little, little runny, but not much. So this has really nice coverage. And actually this is a really good shade match for me 
for once I didn't get something that was too light but I don't know why some foundations will say one thing and then when you go to put them on it's like they're super light this is us um, the ultimate blending brush by elf elf brushes are really good you guys I use a lot of elf brushes they're probably profusion also has good ones the ones with the black handle i really don't care for the ones these are a little more this one's probably like six dollars they have some that have a white handle but i don't really care for those to me those the quality is not the same these are you know a step above but as you can see this has pretty good coverage so i'm going to put a little bit more on my cheeks in my problem areas and then we're done and NYX really release some concealers and some of them are also correctors and this is um, a corrector but I picked the wrong one I also had the pink one but I couldn't find the pink one today I've been organizing I feel like I spent my whole life organizing my makeup and then I don't know where I don't know where I put things. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. But I like the pink one better. It is really, really nice. If you need a corrector, I mean I have a bunch of them that I like, but I mean I like to continue um, testing new ones, especially if they're affordables for you guys. Uh, and this one, the pink one, is really, really good. This is way too light, but it should still help a little bit with the dark circles. Okay, and then the concealer that I am using is the L'Oreal Infallible um, up to 24 hour wear. And this is in the shade, oops, in the shade 365 Cashew. And you guys know I don't like my concealer, like, you know, a lot lighter than my foundation i like for it to match more than than to brighten i don't like to see that you know that huge difference i'm going to put a little bit in my dark spots i don't like to see that huge difference between my foundation and my under eyes i think it just in my opinion this is for me everybody has their own thing that they like to do but in my opinion it just um, makes my under eyes and brings your attention to my under eyes I can't even talk and um, yeah and it this way is kind of all matches and I really do like it better like this Put a little bit in that cavern there because it always gets so so dark and Jen does her eyes first and then she does her face but um, I've always liked doing my face first so we do our makeup backwards that way she does it a different way than I do but there's no right way and there's no wrong way it's just a matter of preference i am using one of the powders from shop miss a the one that looks like a little dupe for the da vinci but i only opened two of the little holes the two lighter ones because the other ones look like a little dark and i want to use it under my eyes and I, I don't want it to look like super dark down there So I just open a little bit of like the light peach and the light pink. I have like three different shades. Those powders are so, so good. They're $1.88 and they really are amazing powders. I totally, totally recommend them. For bronzer, I'm going to use this one from Catrice. It is called the Sun Lover Glow Bronzer. And we're going to see what that looks like. Uh, it sounds like it would have like a little bit of glow. I'm going to use this brush right here and I'm going to go softly because I don't want a lot of it and keep it kind of high. 
I don't, let me see, let me swatch it. It's like a little bit of glow, but it's not like, um, I don't see like specks of glitter or anything like that. That looks kind of pretty, I like that. I really like this bronzer, it's very pretty. And I think it was like $6. I'm getting ready to do a full face of Catrice. But I wanted to try this one today because I wanted to try a bronzer that I had not tried for you before. And um, there's something in my mirror. I thought it was on my face. And um, yeah, I thought this would be a pretty one. All right, for blush, I'm also going to use this one from Catrice because I thought this looks so springy. This is a Cheek Lover Marble Blush. And this is in the shade 10. Did I tell you what shade this was? 10 also, Sunkissed Bronze. And this is Dahlia Bronze. No, Dahlia Blossom. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna type, type. I'm going to tap lightly. That is pretty. I'm gonna swatch it for you. This one also has like a little bit of a glow. Very pretty. I think it's a, this is a beautiful spring shade. How pretty is that? Very cool pink. And again, this is like $6. Catrice has such amazing products. I wish they were still available at Sephora. I mean, I love Essence, but I wish they would have kept, well, it would have been nice if they would have kept both. But if I had a choice, I wish they would have kept Essence. I mean, Catrice instead of Essence, because they're sister companies. All right, so now I'm gonna do um, my eyes. And I brought this palette. This is from Moira. I love this palette. This is such a gorgeous palette. This is called A Moment With You. The packaging is beautiful. It's like an envelope, like you're gonna send a letter to someone. And it's just so, so pretty. I, I normally never keep packaging, but this one is so beautiful that I decided to keep it. It says a love letter series palette, and I do have several of their palettes. So I thought this is a gorgeous palette for a spring look. It is so, so pretty. This one you can get on Amazon or on, on the Moira website. And I will leave I don't have a code with them, but Jen Phelps does have a code with them, and I'm sure she won't mind if I uh, leave it below. So I will do that for you, I will list it below. So I'm gonna start with using this one right here that is called Favorite, and that is just like a beige, and I'm just gonna put it under my brow bone. All right, I'm gonna start with this one right here, even more. So I'm gonna grab a, this is a BK Beauty 202. And use that as my transition. And it's light, but that's okay, that's what I want. Give me time to think what color I wanna go with. The green, this green looks gorgeous. And I'm kinda of tempted to go that way, that route. Put green on my, on my lid. I think, I mean, I know that people, I, I really don't care for pastels. I'm not a pastel kind of makeup wearer. No, I do have the D Natasha Denona palette that is like pastels. And you can create some beautiful looks with that. But I mean, to me, it's like, if I have that palette, I don't need another palette with pastels. That's it, That's, that, that will cover my urge if I ever get one for pastel colors. But, um, I mean, I think you can wear any color you want to in the spring. It doesn't have to be like, you know, pinks and violets. So let me see, guys. Let's swatch a couple of these so that I know if I want to go purple pink or if I want to go green. Oh, look at that green. Okay, I think my mind's made up. We're going to go with green. So now I'm going to use this one, which is called So Real. I think green eyeshadow looks so pretty with brown eyes. The color that scares me 
and I just bought a palette that is mainly blue it's a new one that um, Colourpop just released and I saw it and I said oh this is so beautiful and I bought it and then when I got it it's like Clara what were you thinking that is like a color that you really don't wear but I have it so I will be using it on a video I love these palettes but they're $17.50 sometimes I put them on sale like during holidays and things like that I have um, like I said I, I use Jen Phelps code which is Gen 15 so you can get a little bit of a discount when you get them but I mean they're $17.50 which is not really even bad for the quality and the packaging is a little bulky but it's not cheap at all okay now I'm going to go into it's special which almost looks like a chocolate and I'm going to use a little brush that is a little more precise and they're not powdery you really don't get fallout or much if you do get any you don't get much I did get a little bit with the one before the shade before let me swipe that away where is my powder brush okay now I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm, go, I'm gonna go into that green that is called heartbeat this one right here wow that is gorgeous I'm going to take it a little higher I don't like to use it like very low because then you can't see it unless you know you look down or close your eyes or something so I'm going to take the brown the dark brown and kind of like blend this edge right here I'm going to take the little and just blend that is really really pretty I am going to take this it's like a long pencil brush I'm going to go into this shade right here it's called love stories and go in my inner corner and I think I'm going to wet that because it looks like it's kind of glittery and powdery and I'm just wetting it with the uh, Physicians Formula. It's a setting, refreshing, all kinds of powder. I don't even know if, if that's still available. But it's such a nice spray. Wow. That is really pretty. I'm going to grab a little more on the tip. That one is a little uh, chunky. Just put it in my inner, inner corner. I think that's really pretty. I think I want a little more of that green. I kind of want the green to go a little further into on my, like over the brown. That green is beautiful mascara on and see what it looks like then okay so I want to do I have a couple of liners that um, I think this one would be nice these are from Colourpop and these are multi chrome liners and this one is in wild idea I'm going to swatch both of them and decide but I think this one will be the one this is green oh my gosh look at that green <gasps> holy moly the other one is called acting up and it's like a purple so I don't know because sometimes purple looks pretty with green should we do purple let's live on the wild side Just I want to go over the shimmer. Fine on the lower lash line, but and on my hand, it's it's very creamy and glidey, but doesn't really want to go over the shadow. 
I did a little bit. But it doesn't look as amazing as I did on my hand. Oh my god, I went too low on that. Ah! I don't like to wear my eyeshadow, my liner that low. But I guess we'll smudge it, smudge it out and leave it. Okay, I guess I'll leave it at that for now. We'll see what everything looks like once the uh, mascara is on. So for highlighter, I'm going to use this one from Catrice. It's from the same line. The uh, This is a Sun Lover. This is the Cheek Lover. And this is the Glow Lover. And this is in number 10, Glowing Peony. So we're going to get a little brush. And I'm going to use this one. This is a Units brush from um, Beautylish. That, that's their brush line. In-house brush line. Okay, I'm going to take, this is what I use for my blush, and it doesn't have anything additional. I'm just going over where the blush and the highlighter meet, so that there's no big line there. Okay, I'm going to take the brow gel and just go very, very lightly. I love the size of this brush. Look at this. Those are the brushes I love. So I'm just going to go lightly in case I get any any. Okay, and it's not aggressive. This is the Physician's Formula My Camera Cut Off. This is the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. And it's supposed to um, be brightening also. 95% uh, Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, whatever that is. But it's nice. I don't think it has a scent. I mean, it's not perfumey for sure. So I didn't smell anything when I sprayed it. So I think the complexion look, looks nice. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Panorama Mascara on my bottom and lower lashes. And I'll be okay, right Okay, so this is what my lashes look like with two coats. Um, this, this mascara is very nice. I did make a mess. Um, it dries pretty quickly, but I mean, it gives you time to work with it. Yeah, I made a mess. But the um, the only thing is, I find it that it's a little difficult to remove. Now, I heard somebody say the other day that it was a tubey mascara. I don't remember reading anywhere where it was a tubey mascara. But tonight, I'm going to try to remove it with um, warm water and see if maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. So, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not that impressed with that purple liner. To me, it didn't really do anything. What do you guys think? I mean, you really can't see it. And I really don't like to do like a really, really thick line here. It's just like a hint, I guess, a hint of purple. Yeah, it's a nice mascara. And I've noticed that with this one, I can actually wear it on my lower lash line and it doesn't flake or smudge and also holds your curl. Because I have curly eyelashes, but with some mascaras, I guess it's heavier. And by the end of the day, I mean, I can still see my mascara. It looks okay, but my lashes are not as lifted as they normally are. All right, so I think, let me see. I'm going to use this dark this um, brush right here, pencil brush. And I'm going to take a little more of this right here, this brown, and try to darken this up a little bit. I love Moira. I think they're such a good brand. They have such beautiful makeup. I have a bunch of their new releases that I, I really should do a um, full face on Moira. Because I even have a palette to give away. But anyway. That's for the future. Alright, so now for lips. Um, I brought two different choices. This one is from AOA. Miss AOA. And this is called Vampy. And this is like a tinted... Look at a pretty color. Like a tinted lip balm. And it also, it almost looks like pink. In the tube, it looks red. On here, it looks like pink. 
And then I have this one. This one is from Wet n Wild. So I may use this one because this one is actually, I think, easier for you guys to get. And this is such a beautiful color. And this is in the shade. Uh, I will list it right here when I edit so that you guys can see what the color is because I can read it. Okay, so let me see which lip liner will go with that. Uh, I think this one will. Okay, so this is a lip liner from Maybelline and is in the color Magnetic Mauve. And I think this lip lipstick will look better with the look anyway. These lipsticks are only like $2. Oh, it's called uh, Hush Little Beige. It's, it's a rich satin lipstick. I was trying to read it on the bottom and it has a nice little sticker on the side. I usually don't keep the stickers on the side. Is that pretty or what? I think it's beautiful. It's very, very pretty. I like that. That looks really, really pretty. So this is a completed look. This is, um, I think it's a spring look. I think it looks very nice. I love it. I love the eyeshadow. Uh, these palettes are amazing. I own several, like at least three. I own this one, a purple one that is the one that I'm going to give away um, as in my video, and then an extra one. And then I have some of their little, the smaller palettes, but they're beautiful. Love, love, love this and this. And, oh, you know what? I have brought, this is another, I love the pink uh, highlighter that I got from Shop Missy that I bought another one. This one is in Twilight. Let me put just a little bit of this. These are so beautiful. Look at this. $1.88, guys. Look at this. Even the packaging. I mean, it doesn't feel like super expensive, but it looks expensive. What I like is like there's no glitter. Wait, I have a little bit of fallout. So pretty. All right, so I absolutely loved these. The I think the green one will make a bigger impact. I mean, the purple one, you tell me. Can you see it? I can't see it that much. I don't know. But I know I didn't put a lot on, but I, I put on what I would normally put on as an eyeliner. Okay, the new sticks from NYX are really, really nice. Um, next time I do a video, I'll try to use the pink one so you guys can see it. But these are super, super nice. Very creamy. Um, you know, like I said, this one is very light, but it's, oh my goodness, it's so, so creamy. And I think it helped, it helped with my dark circles. They don't look as visible. So I think it did a good job and it doesn't look dry. My under eyes look fine. Um, this little powder, they are amazing, $1.88. Uh, yeah, everything that I use, I'm really happy with. Let me give you a close look at the eyes. The lips, it's a pretty color. It's a pretty nude color, but it's my kind of nude, not too light. Okay, you guys, so thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. Jen, thank you so much for doing this video with me. I can't wait to see your video, and I really appreciate the fact that you wanted to work with me. You guys, once again, thank you so, so much for spending time with me, and again, if you're from Jen's channel, welcome, and thank you so much for visiting. I love you guys, and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Mwah!